Hello and welcome to Zach on 3 TV and today we're going to be racing in the Cars Line Cup Series at South Boston and starting on pole Pure Evan as you can see we're looking at the rear camera from the pace car and uh, well I kind of screwed up the pace car it looks like uh, I tried to make it into the Cars Line Cup Series pace car and kind of messed it up but uh, so it don't look too good so I don't really want to show it to you you know yeah so Anyway, Pure Evans starting pole. 26 laps is not very long, but um, a race nonetheless. This will probably be the end of our short track frenzy. Start off with Martinsville, and we'll end here at South Boston. Of course, we did Bristol last week. Here from Chick 81, get win number two there. We're going to be looking at, we're going to be going to her car uh, to start the engines. Uh, I don't know if y'all like the sound of that but I know a few of our viewers do so we're gonna go to German Chick 81 and listen in see if that engine gets started uh, starting a little bit further in the back but I'm um, hoping to get up front and maybe go two for two here and uh, yeah starting in uh, uh, not sure quite where what position she's in that we'll find out once this race gets started. So drivers stop your engines Second, taking second from Dark X Rain and Evan Van D back there as well. So lap two of 26, fairly short race. Uh, not going to be near as long as most of our races, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, same points for everybody. Uh, keeping the eye on Roach in his lap times, along with cars in the back. So keep an eye on these things, and you may see a lot of cars here. Thinking about seeing the last race as we see Roach. He may go for it. 66 Roach. Gonna move the 11 up the track. Is gonna be enough. It, oh, not quite. He's, he's right behind him. Roach trying to get his first one of the season. So is Evan. Roach gonna dive bomb to the bottom. Right underneath Evan Pure. He is going to take the lead on lap four. Roach leading his first lap of the season. Has been very consistent this year. There's just not that many good breaks. Is all a lot of cars up here getting bunched up. There's Evan Vandy. He's had a quiet but stealthy season as well. There's Roach going into the corner there. Which is the Star Wars will be running a different paint scheme at plate tracks. I believe the next race is a plate track. After this, I'm going to have to check the schedule to make sure. Okay. See we're actually in some laps. Um, so a few points to Evan Pure for leading a couple. He is falling back. He's already back to fifth and he's about to pass by Brad Stover, who uh, had a bad race at Martinsville, but has overall been very good during this short track, this uh, streak of short track races. So, uh, yeah. Roach also having a good finish at, um, I believe it was North Carolina. Well, that, so, uh, no win yet this year, so uh, it would be a good race to do it right here. But again, making sure these lap cars, uh, we're going to watch the 19 uh, on our leaderboard there, see exactly where he's at. Of course, keep in mind, Evan Vandy right there in second could try to pass Roach. So we'll look at that 19, nine seconds back at this time. There's Evan Van D trying to move down the bottom. So 
So 37 is the new leader, but the 19 lost. I don't think he lost his phone. So we're going to be looking at the 37 now. A little few laps at Ricky Raceway. And he's up front now as Roach. Back there in second, along with Seal. Who I believe they are teammates. I could be wrong. Sometimes we get Arctic Racing and Mobile One Racing mixed up. One Racing owned by Gar Salamander. And uh, Arctic Racing owned by uh, Sabretooth. As Roach is trying to recatch these, uh, this 37 car, I don't believe we're going to see lap cars at the rate these cars are going down. So, we will probably be safe in that aspect. But Roach is not done with that 37. Slow, surely catching right back up to Evan Vandy. Like I said, kind of a short race. We are well past halfway. So. 15 and 26 at 66 catching up as we do have a caution now under caution for a wreck 37 will take the caution flag I believe the 88 of Brennan Nelson involved heavy damage to the side and the rear getting a little stacked up here so uh Let's look here. So he's in the back. He's a very good season out here in the back. He's a uh, cars that uh, aren't even active in the series right now. Trying to get the leeway. Oh, got hit by the 62. 62 round hard hit for both those cars. Let's look at it from his roof cam. So yeah, just uh Run around by him. Do a little slow mo here. Yeah, around to the bottom, then back up right into him. And they're both sideways. Dang. I do believe these cars will continue. The 62 and the 88 are both So, very important. Very, very consistent season so far. Um, but it doesn't look like that wind's coming today. So, our leader, Evan Van D. Our crappy looking pace car. Don't know when we're going to go green, but we're expecting the next couple laps. We'll be going green with under 10 laps to go. Roach and Seal right behind him. Brad Stover up there. A lot of cars have been consistent this year. Evan, uh, Evan Pure has not left the top 10 yet. Flam, Atlanta winner in 7th. Uh, North Wilkesboro winner, Dissect in 6th. Definitely could see a mixed finish here. Definitely going to see a mixed bag. And we just got to know when we're going green. That crash 80 it was caused by a 62 there. Believe they're both still in the race on the lead lap. We're going green this time by. Next time by, rather. We're going lap, green lap 21 of 26. Roach in second. Seal in third. Evan Vandy in first. Um, a lot of good cars up here. Could we see the 37? It's very good this year. Here we go. We're coming to the green with just a few laps to go as Evan Vandy taking him to the green once again. Or, or taking him to the green. And there is Roach right there behind him. Pulls back a little bit. He's going to dive in a little bit there. I think he's going to get a good run off this corner here. Mm, actually, no, he doesn't. Right now. And Evan Vandy leading. He just needs to lead couple more laps. Pulls away a little bit there. Seal going to try to make a move. Not going to be enough here. Here's Roach. He's going to try to catch up again. Not going to happen. He's still keeping up. 
with that 37. That is what he needs to do. Brad Silver has moved himself into third. There's that 66. Really trying to claw his way up to this 37 car. Yeah, that's a rather short race. Keep an eye on these two. Flam going for third. Two laps to go. Roach. Are going to try something? I don't know. It's going to have to come down to this last lap. We're under caution. Caution will end this race. Under caution. Uh, Evan Van D is our winner. I was hoping we get to race to the finish, but unfortunately, we will not get that opportunity. Caused the wreck. The 62. Oh my goodness. That, that is a bad one. The 97. The NASCAR 97 fan has had a terrible season. Doesn't look like it's going to go good here either. So, congratulations to Evett Van D for winning, but there must have been a heck of a wreck here. I'll have to look at this. So. I don't know what happened. I think, um, oh, oh my goodness. So we're going to need to look at this and s I don't know what happened here. So there's a 97 of, um, NASCAR 97 fan. Uh, this is coming off a of turn four, just a few laps to go. Uh, gets crunched side by side with a 93. They're going up the track. Fortunately, they avoid saving a box, but. Up the track they go, and oh man, this is awful. This is the first flip of the season, actually. It's, I was hoping we didn't have to see one, but fortunately, being a uh, NASCAR 97 fan, and unfortunately, nowhere for Daniel Pauls Jr. to go right into him, and then Gar Salamander, nowhere to go. Or, and he's just trying to save it. And there's Caleb Williams, he's going to get involved pretty hard, too, rear ending him pretty bad. And, and uh, 62, 88, both involved in a wreck. I think they got out of this okay. Well, no, the 97 was trying to go back to pit road. The 62 was there. So then he got spun around again. And Amazing, that car was still going after flipping. That was crazy. Let's go back uh, to... Uh, Actually, let's go to Daniel Pulse Jr.'s roof cam. See what he uh, or uh, yeah, let's see what he got. Uh, uh, on his uh, roof cam, very bad wreck. So, um, I don't know if you can see him up there. I'm gonna remove the standings. Maybe get a good look at this. So, um, you see. Him. Yeah, there it is right up there. And Drummer Chick 81, not getting a good finish here either. Bradley Ream up there, Thornton winner. And then nowhere for him to go. He's just on. Yeah, I, he could have avoided, but if it was either him or into the 31, let's go to his rear. He gets smashed by the 25, and oh, it was just an ugly crash. Ugly, ugly wreck. And the 37 is our winner, but uh, everyone's already into pit road, so. so. Uh, uh, congratulations to uh, Everett Van D on winning at South Boston. A very horrible incident on the last lap. First flip of the year. I-7 has not had a good year. Hopefully, they'll turn around next race. So, yeah. But a good top 10. So, uh, interesting to see. Well, um, I think that's going to conclude our race South Boston. A little bit shorter race, but race nonetheless. Congratulations to Evan Van D and all the cars in the top 10. And everyone that uh, got a good finish, get some good points towards standing. So, we'll see you next week. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's all.